Today, I'm going to be making a beautiful ethereal sympathy card with a new-to-me die set and my paper called La Vie de Rose. Stay tuned. Hello, my crafty friends. I'm getting out my detailed dove set today. I just bought this last year and I haven't used it yet. But I think it's absolutely beautiful. There's so many fun pieces in here. And I've been having a lot of fun cutting out different colors just to see what works the best. And I decided to use vellum. And I think that's going to work out very nicely here. 40 pound vellum. So here... I made wings with both of these pieces and how I did that so I took my glitter paper and I had it glitter side up for one piece and then I turned it over and cut it again on the other piece I think it turned out really nicely And then I did the same thing with the vellum. So we will put these aside for now. Then I used one of my stamps with deepest sympathy and I put an enamel dot on that and I cut it out with one of my Stephen Up dies. And then here is my Le Vie de Rose paper. And I had this left over for my Valentine's Day cards. Beautiful hearts. I think it goes very well with that. So that will be for the front of my card. But we're going to go ahead and stamp the inside first. And I'm going to take this dove. And I'm going to stamp off. And I'm going to put that behind the sentiment. So let me show you how I do that. This is, this is Verse Fine Claire Morning Mist. Okay. One stamp off. Go one stamp there. And then I'm going to just stamp again in my card. There. Beautiful. Now I'm going to stamp with another set. This is from, I'm not sure if it's from Hero Arts. You have my loving support during this difficult time. And when I send these cards out as part of my Square Dance Association, I just cross out the I and put we. This is Flirty Flamingo from Snappin' Up. And then we're going to go right over the dove. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna add some roses with my Rococo Rose. And this stamp from Stampendous. Oh, well, shoot. It's not going to work. I'm going to add some of my sticky, non-permanent non sticky to make the uh, stamp stay on. Now we're going to have to do this in the corner because it, uh, let's 
see. Yeah, see, so I covered that. Okay, just like so. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the front together. Place the wings first. Use my Tumba Mono. Probably should have put them together first. Now, if you look at this really closely, obviously you can tell it's backwards, but once I put it on here and attach it, you're not going to be able to tell. Definitely have to put something on it to hold it down. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard to grip on this glitter, so definitely press it down and let it sit for a bit. Now this will dry, so it's not gonna be as noticeable. It is hard to, to work with vellum and glue because it does tend to show. We're going to let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, my wings are dry and let's finish the front. Just like so, and they're going to come out a little bit, but that's okay because they're not all the way out past the card. So I want to go ahead and set these first to see what's the best angle. I think that is beautiful and ethereal with, with a with a nice thought. Okay. I'm going to set these first. And then I'm going to pop up the deepest sympathy. So let's. I'm going to use a combination of glue. And my runner for these. to get this as even as possible. Oh, okay. Now we're going to pop this up on my little foam dots.
they do po poke out just a little bit, don't they? When I go to mail this, I will probably put something on top of it, a piece of paper to protect it. But there is a beautiful sympathy card. I think this is very appropriate to send our loving thoughts to someone in this time of need. 